Hiding out in the crawl space of a Monrovia home, another bear is making itself right at home, squeezing in and out of a tiny opening under the house. The homeowners say they started hearing strange noises and knew something was under the house, but when they set up a camera to check out what was there, they were shocked by what they saw. I imagine KTLA Sandra Mitchell live in Monrovia with a story you'll see only on 5. Sandra. Yeah, Micah, we did a similar story not far from here just over a week ago. We've looked closely at the two videos. We do not think this is the same bear. Now, incredibly, these homeowners say they have heard noises under their house for about two weeks. Finally, last night, they went to investigate. You're about to see what they discovered. <laughs> Clawing at the crawl space, wiggling in and out of the house. <coughs> These Monrovia homeowners were watching a scary movie when a real 250 pound creature started making a commotion. So we we're like, okay, something's under there. So we kind of like tiptoed towards it a little bit. And then I could hear a little more scratching, and then we ran back inside the house. <laughs> that something was this big black bear living under their house. He was so big that he could barely fit through the crawl space door, so he kind of like like pawed his way out. Mark Cho and Mark Lanza are pretty used to seeing coyotes and raccoons lurking around their neighborhood. So when they heard the loud noises Wednesday night... Uh, it sounded like someone messing with the plumbing, tapping on the pipes. They set up a camera and started recording. If this story sounds familiar, you might remember this. Just last week and just about five miles away, another homeowner found what looks like a different black bear living under their house in Sierra Madre. Oh my gosh! The bear broke in our house. Bear break-ins really aren't that uncommon in these San Gabriel foothill communities, and most homeowners know how to cope. She tore it up, ripped it apart. Wasn't hard for her to get off, uh, and or wasn't wasn't hard for her to destroy either. Lanza and Cho now have replaced that old wooden window with a piece of sheet metal, and they're hoping this bear will not be back. All right, so the bear caused minimal damage to the house. The homeowners say they're really hoping the bear finds somewhere else to sleep tonight. We're live in Monrovia. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Back to you, Sharon Micah. Mm, Sandy, thank you. <laughs> Two weeks it was there? Out of sleep somewhere. I mean, a raccoon I could see, right, but a bear?